I don't know what I did. I feel like I was in Street Fighter or something last night. Look, like something bit me. And then I've got a cut. What happened somehow there. when we were coming home? Like all my nails are just like, look, they're like splitting apart. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 5. It's December 5th, obviously. Uh, I'm actually surprised that I'm able to kind of keep up with this. Granted, my videos are going up late, but today is um, a therapy vlog, so it's not really going to have anything to do with winter or Christmas, which is fine. Not all of my videos are going to have anything to do with winter or Christmas, but I'm really nervous. Oh, look, like I forgot to wipe off the powder, so it's just. <laughs> I woke up literally less than an hour ago. Obviously. Oh, maybe back 45 minutes ago? I don't know. I just know it was after 10.30 when you finally woke me up. Oh no, my shirt's coming to die and you just sew that. I don't sew. My mom's going to sew it for me. <laughs> but I haven't been into therapy in months. I mean months. August? Yeah, it's been like four months. I don't even know how they still have me as a patient. I'm super nervous because I've gained a lot of weight since... I was last at therapy, which I know that that's successful to them. Like they think, okay, that's good, girl, you're ma maintaining and you fluctuate it. Because when I say I've gained weight, it's like three pounds. But in the mind of an anorexia, you know, even though that I'm recovered physically, my mind will never be re recovered. And so like in my anorexia mind, that may as well be 30 pounds. It may as well be 50 pounds. So while I know that I'm going into therapy, and she's gonna have a legitimate concern with what's been going on and what's been happening and how I've been doing. My anorexia mind is just thinking she's gonna judge me, she's gonna think I'm fat, she's gonna do the ultimate anorexia recovery sin and tell me I look great. Which let me tell you, don't ever tell somebody. I know you mean it from the bottom of your heart to be as kind as possible and just be supportive. But don't tell somebody they look great. You know what, just ignore them. Ignore the fact that their body has changed, that they've gained weight, where they've lost weight. Just ignore them. But just, just don't comment on people's weight if you know or think that they struggle with an eating disorder. You just get in their head and like make them more self-conscious and it, it translates to, you're calling me fat, you're judging my body. We already have body dysmorphia, so we have no idea what our body looks like. Just don't do it. Ugh. Okay, so my neck is just getting darker. That was a bad idea to bring the bronzer down my neck. Now I just need to like cover my whole body. Okay, let me take off my shirt so I can bronze my shoulders. <laughs> okay, look, I grabbed Soraya's highlighter. Look at that, look at that shimmer. It's like foil. I need blush. What blush did I grab? Oh, of course, the darkest blush I own. Oh, uh, is that snow? Sleet? Yeah, uh, it's crazy, Are the roads slick? So far, no. Let's have to lightly do it. That sounds good. You guys, if the sounds are terrible, I apologize. I should just leave it like this. Oh, I'm just making my face up. Why is this side blending, but this side is like... I was joking about leaving you like that. Because I have two Xanax on me. <sighs> when Ron asked me last night if I had an ibuprofen, I'm like, no, I have Xanax. The people in front of me were laughing, and I'm like, they probably don't understand, but I don't mean it like, yo, I got benzos. <laughs> I mean it like, no, I have anxiety meds. I don't think it's going to help your dad's headache. <laughs> Been like 
70%. I involvement with the kids have been really good. I have to burp. Oh, that feels, that was one of those burps that just made me feel so much better. I just envisioned you looking like Barney. And <laughs> is over. I saw Kestrel. I think it was a good appointment. I went in and I asked her if we could just do a 30 minute appointment because I didn't feel like emotionally like I could do a full hour but I think we ended up doing a full hour anyhow. Yeah, we were right It was off. close. As soon as she walked up to get me she was like oh you look good. But coming from Kestrel I know that she means that as like I look okay. Like I look good not look, look I together. look good. Yeah, she's, I said she was going to break the, the sin of anorexia recovery, but for her it's not like that. She just kind of started with some base questions and I kind of took over. I just, I really got to vent. I got to just kind of catch her up on a couple things in my life. I mean, like I said, she was going to ask me about the positives too, and she did. I love how she always says that, but you're, you're making strides as well. You're doing well and you're doing... You're making positive steps as well. I appreciate the fact that she's not a therapist that just wants to harp on the things that I need to change or the things that are wrong um, or even like my diagnosis. She's really good at just wanting there to be a balance. And also it helps that she knows that that's my biggest struggle is there being a balance. But I think it went well. It felt really good to see her. I love her. I always like talk her up like she's gonna yell at me because that's my fear. But she was just very much like, I'm so happy to see you and I've really missed you and it's good. You know what I mean? Like she just comes across as a friend. And I believe that she genuinely cares about me, which your therapist should genuinely care about you. And not just your mental health, but you as a person and individual. And I've had some really shitty um, therapists. <laughs> some really shitty therapists and that were very much just focused on not even treatment, not even like diagnosing, but just kind of, yeah, the stabilization. Just, I'm here to do my job. I'm very uninvolved, very um, distant and disengaged, which is frustrating because like you want as much validation as possible. And I love that she does that. I love that she makes me feel like a person. When I don't show up, she flat out says, I worry about you. Um, and I think that she's 100% sincere, sincere in that. She, she's more in, she's more into the, the people that she treats than she is about the paycheck or even the rules of the own company that she works for, which I think is important. She puts, she puts her patients above and beyond everything, which is a good therapist. If, I, I swear, I reach, everybody that I, is like, oh, I need to, you know, I think I need help. I'm like, Kestrel. Go to Kestrel. Name drop me and she'll get you in. <laughs> oh, my stomach feels upset. You might need to stop here. No, don't stop there because I know somebody there. I hate gastroparesis, by the way. Gastroparesis sucks. I'm going to stop the vlog here. Um, I know that today's Vlogmas wasn't like super exciting, but I think it's exciting because I haven't been to therapy in months and this was a really big step for me. And now next week, next week, you guys, my therapy vlog, I'm going to be coming down here by myself. So we'll see A, if I actually follow through, because we all know that I typically don't when I'm by myself. And then B, 
we'll see how that goes because I'll have a full session of just her and normally I use Anthony as my crutch. So, well, happy Vlogmas Day 5 and I'll see you guys tomorrow.